I hope you'll find this on a local bookshelf and follow along. U.S. Navy Alphabet Book by Sammy Garnett, Jerry Pelota, and Rob Bolster. A is for Aircraft Carrier. An aircraft carrier is the largest ship in the U.S. Navy. It is a floating city with a crew of nearly 6,000 sailors. It is also an airport with a flight deck as long as three football fields. This ship is so enormous that it has its own zip code. B is for boats. A boat is not a ship. A ship is a huge seagoing vessel. A boat is a small craft that can be carried on board a ship. The U.S. Navy uses many types of boats. Dinghies, punts, LCMs, LCACs, WBs, SOCs, RIBs, PERS, and UBs. The military has a language of its own. They love to use acronyms. Can you guess which boat is a landing craft mechanized, landing craft air cushion, work boat, special operations craft, rigid inflatable boat, personnel boats, and utility boats? C is for construction battalion. Just call these sailors CBs. They are the Navy's construction workers. At a moment's notice, they are ready to build an airstrip, construct a bridge, clear a road, put up a building, or repair a school for children. The CBs have a can-do attitude. They brag the difficult we do at once, the impossible takes a bit longer. D is for diving. Hard hat divers do underwater construction, salv salvage, and repairs. Hard hat divers get their air from the surface through hoses. Scuba divers breathe air from a tank or from rebreathers. Scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. EOD divers are special scuba divers who are trained to find and dispose of unexploded bombs. EOD stands for Explosive Ordnance Disposal. E is for electronics. The modern U.S. Navy has electronics everywhere. They use radar, sonar, lasers, computers, cell phones, and radios. Most amazing of all is GPS, which stands for Global Positioning System. Any day at any time, a captain of a ship can use GPS to see exactly where the ship is located. F is for Frogman. Would you rather be called a frogman or a seal? They are the same thing. U.S. Navy SEALs are highly trained combat divers who are sneaky and daring. SEALs use special scuba gear that makes no bubbles and no noise. These smart commandos can attack from sea, air, or land. Some SEALs are members of the elite Navy parachute team called the Leapfrogs. G is for ground tackle. This is not something you do in a football game. Ground tackle refers to the anchors, anchor cables, and chains used to hold a ship to the ocean floor. A favorite Navy song is Anchors Away. It is played at parades, football games, and special occasions. Away means a ship's anchor has been raised. H is for homecoming. Strike up the band. Homecoming is when a ship returns from a long cruise. It is a tradition for sailors to man the rail while family and friends anxiously wait as the ship pulls alongside the pier. Welcome home, let's celebrate. I is for Ironsides. This wooden ship got the nickname Old Ironsides because cannonballs would bounce off her hard oak hull. In 1812, she won her greatest battle against the British frigate Guerriere. Her real name is the USS Constitution. She is the oldest commissioned warship in the Navy and is still afloat in Boston Harbor, Massachusetts. J is for John Paul Jones. He is one of the most famous naval heroes of the Revolutionary War. John Paul Jones never gave up in battle. Once he was asked to surrender his ship, he replied, I have not yet begun to fight. He is buried in a marble crypt beneath the U.S. Naval Academy Chapel. K is for knot. Knots are used by sailors to tie lines together or tie lines to other objects. A line can be made of thread, string, or rope. Lines are used for pulling, holding, lifting, and lowering. Knot is also a naval term for a ship's speed. A knot is one nautical mile per hour. When a ship travels at 20 nautical miles per hour, its 
speed is said to be 20 knots. And the knots illustrated on this page are bowline knots, overhand knots, two half hitches, and a square knot. L is for liberty. Liberty is like recess. It is an opportunity for sailors to leave the ship or naval station for a short time. Navy ships visit foreign ports. Sailors on liberty are free to explore and go sightseeing. Now you know why the Navy recruiter says, join the Navy, see the world. It's not a job, it's an adventure. M is for medical corps. The Navy's medical corps has highly trained doctors, dentists, nurses, technicians, and hospital corpsmen. It even has two floating hospitals. The USNS Comfort and the USNS Mercy are fully equipped hospitals, each with beds for 1,000 patients. N is for Naval Academy. The United States Naval Academy was established in Annapolis, Maryland on August 10, 1845. It is the Navy's college. The students are called midshipmen, young men and women trained to become top-notch officers while earning their college degree. It is traditional for officers to toss their hats at graduation. O is for officer of the deck. The OOD is the captain's representative. The captain is the ship's CEO or commanding officer. The OOD on duty oversees the operation of the ship and signs the ship's logbook. P is for planes. Helicopters are known as rotary wing aircraft. Planes are called fixed-wing aircraft. The U.S. Navy flies helicopters, planes, and jets from naval air stations and from the decks of ships. What is your favorite plane? The Blue Angels are the U.S. Navy flight demonstration team. The team was founded in 1946. They are known for performance flying. Go to an air show and see the Blue Angels zoom through the air while rolling, diving, and spinning upside down. Q is for quarterdeck. Everyone must report to the quarterdeck when first boarding a Navy ship. The quarterdeck is not a specific place. The captain decides where it will be. Official business and ceremonies happen on the quarterdeck. R is for reserves. Naval reserves are men and women who serve in the Navy part-time. Reservists have civilian careers and live in cities and towns just like yours. During a war or a national emergency, many reservists are called to active duty. They are always ready to serve. S is for submarine. Submarines are vessels that go underwater. The first U.S. submersible ship, the USS Holland SS-1, was commissioned on October 12, 1900. Do some math and figure out how long the Navy has been using subs. T is for training. Training, training, and more training. New recruits report to boot camp at the Recruit Training Commands in Great Lakes, Illinois. Aside from physical training, recruits learn first aid techniques, flag signaling, shipboard damage control, and firefighting. Training continues throughout a sailor's career. U is for uniforms. Sailors in the Navy wear uniforms. Some uniforms are made for work or combat, and some are for show or special occasions. Uniforms change with the seasons and the weather. Usually blue uniforms are worn in cool weather, and white ones in warm weather. V is for vessel. Vessel is another name for a ship. The Navy operates hundreds of ships. If you enlist in the Navy, would you like to serve on an aircraft carrier, a frigate, a destroyer, a submarine, a tanker, a minesweeper, or a cruiser? The right side of the ship is called starboard, and the left side is port. The front is the bow, the back is the stern or fantail, and the body is the hull. Let's learn some more Navy lingo. If you are hungry, you might walk along the deck, go through a hatch, and pass the galley on your way to the mess deck to eat some chow. Then it is time for a quick trip to the head. W is for weapons. The Navy uses a variety of weapons, guns, rockets, missiles, torpedoes, mines, depth charges, and bombs. These weapons help the Navy defend the United States of America and our freedom. X is for the letter X. 
the Navy uses semaphore for silent communication between ships. Semaphore is an alphabet signaling system. A sailor holds a pair of flags in a particular position to spell words and send messages. Y is for yardarm. The yardarm is a crossbar located high on the ship's mast. Read the flags on the flag hoist from top to bottom and from outboard to inboard. Can you decode the secret message? Z is for Zulu, another alphabet. Zulu is the letter Z in the code word alphabet that the military uses when talking on a radio, also known as the phonetic alphabet. Letters like B, V, T, and Z sound very similar. So the military says Bravo, Victor, Tango, and Zulu. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, and Zulu. And these are the core values of the Navy, honor, courage, and commitment. The end.